risk origin, causes and sources, and consequences. Risk can sometimes originate in one process of an organization, but impact other processes. As a result, management recognizes and controls these enterprise-wide risks to maintain and improve performance. Identifying, measuring, and responding to risk that may affect the achievement of an entity's strategy and business objectives facilitates creating, preserving, realizing, and minimizing the erosion of an entity's value. Risks detected at the transactional level may be just as harmful as those identified at the entity level. Enterprise risk management enables organizations to increase their ability to identify new risks and plan suitable actions reducing surprises and associated costs or losses, and benefiting from favorable departments. Furthermore, the organization can discover the reasons and sources of risks through logical identification and integration. There are various sources from which risks originate, such as regulatory requirements, including laws, policies, procedures, changes in economics and political factors, and other internal factors related to human resources. Risks detected at the transactional level may be just as detrimental as those identified at the entity level. Risks might impact a single operating unit or the whole institution. They may be highly correlated with business environment variables or other hazards. Furthermore, risk responses may necessitate large infrastructure investments or may be accepted as a cost of doing business. Because risk comes from a variety of sources, numerous solutions from within the company are necessary. Emerging risks emerge as the business context shifts, and they can potentially influence the entity's risk profile in the future. It should be noted that emerging risks may not be sufficiently understood enough to effectively identify and assess them from the start, necessitating more frequent re-identification. Organizations should also disclose new information about developing risks as it becomes available. Identifying new and emerging risks and changes in existing risks allows the organization to look and plan ahead to allow time to analyze the possible severity of the risks and capitalize on these developments. As a result, having time to examine the risk allows the organization to anticipate risk response or, if necessary, review the entity's strategy and business objectives. Some risks may remain unknown risks, for which the organization has no reasonable expectation of considering during risk identification. The occurrence of risk incidents may have financial, reputational, operational, strategic, and legal consequences. Because the risks may have effects that affect one operational unit or the entity as a whole, they may be highly associated with factors in the business context or with other risks. Furthermore, risk responses may necessitate large infrastructure expenditures or may be accepted as a cost of doing business. Because risk comes from several sources, various actions are necessary at all levels and across the entity. This framework component focuses on practices that support the organization in making decisions and achieving strategic and business objectives. Therefore, organizations use their operating structure to develop a practice that identifies new and emerging risks so that management can deploy risk responses promptly, assesses the severity of risk with an understanding of how the risk may change depending on the level of the entity, prioritizes risks allowing management to optimize the allocation of resources in response to those risks, identifies and selects responses to risk, and develops a portfolio view to enhance the ability of the organization to articulate the amount of risk assumed in the pursuit of strategy and entity-level business objectives. The practices are performed across all levels and with responsibilities and accountabilities for appropriate enterprise risk management, aligned with the severity of the risk.